Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. Today I'd like to show you a little bit of some 3ds Max in creating objects. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Create panel and some of the things that you can create uh, starting with standard primitives. We'll take a look at lights and cameras. Uh, we're not going to get too deep into that. Today I just want to focus on uh, basic shapes and objects and how you change their parameters. So to get started, as you can see, we've got some geometry in here. I've got uh, a sphere, a simple box, and a cone. And the way that these are created is you can either go to the Create tab at the top and choose from any of these lists, or you can come to your panel over here, and we've got it on the Create side right now. So as you can see with uh, the geometry selection, I can come to this drop-down menu and I've got a choice of standard primitives, extended primitives, compound objects, and all kinds of great stuff that's already put in by default. And when you come over to shapes, you've got some other standard shapes in here like text and stars, circles, and all this can be changed with parameters afterwards. So to get started, I'll just uh, come back here to standard primitives and I'll show you simply how you can create a box. You just Place your crosshairs in the window and then it gives you the next step would be extruding it. So as you can see over here, there is a, a length parameter, a width parameter, and a height. And so now that our box is in there, we can actually change these to exact values. So we could give that a height of 12 and notice how it updates. We could give it a width of 6 and we'll give it a length of 12 as well. Now I can also take this geometry afterwards and segment it if I want to make some changes to it afterwards I can apply changes to just segments of this geometry and to show that segment I'll just toggle the F3 button shows me in wireframe what I'm looking at if I want to bring shaded back into it I can hit F4 and it'll show me those segments as well. So I'll just show you again as I add or remove segments here. So that's handy for when you're doing advanced edits on the shapes. Um, if we wanted to make a, a cylinder, again, you start out with the, the circle and then just move on to that extrude. And this one's already segmented, so we could decrease the amount of segments or increase it. And then afterwards, change your height or your radius. So as you can see, making objects is very easy. You've got a lot of parameters that you can work with. And it's very helpful to know some of these parameters and, and how you can make changes. Because after, once you get into modifiers, you can do some really great things like adding twists and bends. But this is for another day. So we'll, we'll take a look at modifiers down the road. But what I'd like to do is go back to our create panel. And as you can see, we've got a little icon for lights. If I wanted to light this scene, I could put in different types of light. There's photometric and then there's standard. We'll just start with a standard Omni light for the time being. And we'll just put that anywhere. Now, as you can see on my interface here, I've got a couple other screens showing. So this is showing me a side view. I've got a top view as well, so I can manipulate my geometry in any of these views and it'll update all around. So maybe I want to put that in the middle and then I'll use this view to bring it up just a little bit. So we're not going to adjust too much on this light, we're just going to place it, but that would be a light that we could use in this scene. And in the same respect we can come back up here to cameras and choose a say target camera for this one. I'm going to come into my top view and just place that camera towards that sphere there. Now once my camera is placed, I can actually go ahead and change some of these parameters. So I'll, I can select the target and hit my, my move command. And I can move that field of view a little bit and maybe move my camera so it's just beside this sphere here. So this stuff really doesn't matter. I just wanted you to see kind of how you place a camera. We'll come back to our other views. And again, this camera right now is 
right at that ground plane. So if we lift it up a little bit, we'll start getting a bit better view. So what I'll do is change my, per my perspective view over to the camera. And now you can see what I'm looking at from that camera's perspective. So if that's the object we wanted to make, then that's great. But we could come back over here to the modifier panel and now change some of these properties. Maybe we want that to be a little skinnier at the bottom and a little taller. And we want to add some more segments for when we add a modifier to this. So again, staying in here in the create panel, this is where you're going to find most of the objects that you can create. This is one way of creating objects, but you can find out a whole lot of other ways once you get into 3ds Max. You'll see that you can import geometry from AutoCAD or Revit in the form of a 3, 3ds uh, Max file. You can actually export directly from Revit in FBX file format. But if you want to make simple changes and add simple geometry in 3ds Max, you've got lots of options right here. Join us next time. We're going to take a look at uh, transforms and selection. Thanks for watching.